Now, by removing that provision from the new development code, developers will no longer be allowed to cluster lots without any setbacks or lot size requirements. Dozens of residents at a local homeless shelter are being forced to move soon. That news comes as Reentry Alliance Pensacola says they simply don't have the money to cover the cost at their S Street shelter. And Tanner Stewart breaks down what could be next for the residents and the growing issues our local homeless community still faces. So although the residents at this shelter are being forced to move, they will be rehoused. Director Vinnie Webbs of REIT Pensacola says this is not an ideal situation, though, as closing this shelter creates one less place for our growing homeless population. About 35 women and children will be rehoused from the S Street shelter in Pensacola before the end of the week. REIT Pensacola Director Vinnie Webbs says the issue with this particular shelter began over a year ago after their initial one-year grant ended. REAP then received six months of funding through the city and another amount from the county most recently. But he tells me over the last five months, REAP has resorted to reserves to keep the shelter open and can no longer afford to run it without help. The reality is that the people do not have sufficient funds to cover the cost of operation when you talk about the occupancy and the, and the, and the, and the case management. It would not surprise me to say that we would need uh, uh, at least a thousand units. And if you counted uh, affordable workforce housing, you probably could triple that. Wibbs estimates there are more than 2,000 homeless people across Escambia County, telling me the homelessness is becoming more visible, as closing another shelter, he says, is complicating matters that need to be addressed quickly. The property will remain in the hands of REAP Pensacola. They'll continue operating other parts of the organization as normal, as Vinnie Wibbs is hopeful that some federal funding and perhaps other local organizations will step up and help make this available for residents again soon. County officials remaining quiet on the situation today. A spokesperson with the Scambia County telling me they have no comment on any future efforts to help get the shelter reopened. Live tonight in Pensacola, I'm Tanner Stewart, WEAR News.